How's it going, everybody? Um, so I just want to check in. Um, I'm a third year medical student from downstate New York. Um, and I want to address some things with this whole COVID-19 coronavirus issue. Um, I want to talk about some things that I feel are being left out of the conversation as far as the national media is concerned and what we're hearing. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about the things that you probably already know, um, such as, you know, this is a, it's generally a respiratory virus. Um, it, it's, it's transmitted through secretions, aerosolized secretions, such as sneezing, coughing, things like that. Um, what I want to talk to you about is just how amazing your immune system is. Every single moment of every single day, we're exposed to trillions of bacteria, fungi, viruses, and 99.999% of them never cause any side effect. They, they, uh, they cause no symptoms. They cause no symptoms. The reason for that is because our immune systems are so strong and so powerful. Um, the key to health is making sure that you are taking good care of yourself. Chances are if you're exposed to this, you're not even going to show any symptoms. And the reason for that, it's, <laughs> it's all, it's, it's a miracle basically that, um, your body has the defenses to protect yourself against these things. So I have a couple points that I'm going to highlight in this video that I think can ease some of the panic and gives you something that you have control over. Okay. The first thing that the first thing that you can do to give yourself the best possible chance is to hydrate well. Hydration is key for numerous reasons. The first of which being it's going to allow your lymphatic system which is, the, which is basically a circulatory system for your immune cells, it's going to allow that to be well flushed. Imagine a creek that's running nice and smooth, that's flowing, just, just going along, no issues. Um, so staying hydrated is key. Also, it's going to allow the respiratory epithelium the cells that line the respiratory tract, it's going to allow them to um, be able to secrete enough um, moisture onto its surface to be able to catch anything that might be coming into the respiratory tract. All right, so that's two. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is daily moderate intensity exercise, okay? The key with this... Um, is going to be just keeping it nice and easy, but getting moving. Because as it relates to the lymphatic system that, that I talked about earlier, um, muscle contraction moves your blood and your lymphatic fluid throughout your body. So if there is an infection somewhere, okay, that infection, that bacteria, that virus, etc., is going to be picked up. It's going to be... Um, and it's going to be e e eradicated from the system um, so long as that fluid gets to that area. So hydration plus exercise is going to get that lymphatic fluid flowing nice, nice and smooth, just like a creek that's rolling right along. It's going to catch anything that's, that's in there, boom, 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 and it, just eliminate it. Okay. Next point, eating enough calories. Now is not the time to be doing some crazy diet, doing some, um, you know, some wild uh, new fad diet. 
the immune system runs on glucose, which is sugar. So you're going to want to make sure that you're getting enough calories into the body to be able to fuel your immune cells. Um, next point is sleep. Sleep is very, very important. It's going to boost your immunity. So aiming for you know eight hours of sleep every night, going to bed when you're tired, taking a nap if you're tired, that's very, very important. Um, next point, avoidance of alcohol. Alcohol and other drugs depress your immune system. They depress your immune system. So if you're taking those things in, and you could be a young person or an old person, you're going to be more vulnerable to infection. Um, last point is going to be minimizing stress. And in my opinion, I believe that fear and paranoia are far more contagious than COVID-19. Um, we're going to get through this if we're calm, cool, collected, and we approach this in an intelligent way. Keep your social distancing. Um, keep washing your hands. Do those things that you already know. But keep in mind these things that I'm talking about. Keep in mind that your immune system is not only going to help you, but it's going to help the people around you. Because if you're presented with coronavirus, your immune system will quickly handle it, will quickly be prepared for another infection, and it will quickly clear it so you're no longer a vector for the infection. Um, this is really simple stuff, but it goes a really, really long way. Um, and I don't think it's being discussed enough. Hydration, sleep, calories, no alcohol, de-stress. Those are the, the key things, okay? Um, otherwise, yeah, um, I would recommend like turning off your phones for a little while, getting outside. If you got kids, take them outside, take them out to your yard, um, you know, and, you know, just run around with them, have some fun, dance around with them, um, you know, and just be smart, be smart because when you're calm, your immune system's even stronger. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, just wanted to get this video out there, and uh, I hope this helps some people. So, God bless. Peace.